Hey, what's good, YouTube? Um, so we're gonna be teaching you guys how to make these animated overlays that are being shown on the screen. And also, if you want to have any of these overlays, they're completely free, and they'll be in the Discord if you want to join it. And there's gonna be a link at the bottom. And if you also want to subscribe and hit the bell notifications, we'll be making a lot more stream tip videos on teaching you how to do a lot of things for your stream for yourself, making them unique. Uh, as always, let's get to the video on how to make these. And as always, stream better, guys. So before we start this video, we're going to need you to download two different programs. Two of the programs that are completely free that we're going to be using today to show you guys how to make the animated webcam overlays are going to be Inkscape and HitFilm Express. The links of those are going to be at the bottom in the bio. Okay. Once we open up HitFilm Express, this is what our page is going to look like. So the first thing that we're going to do is go straight into files. Go to document properties. And on the bottom left right here, we're going to go on to custom size, change our units to pixels and change our page width to 1920 height to 1080. We're going to use all of our tools all the way on the right over here. And we're going to go to view and turn on our page grids. Second, we're going to start with our line tool. We're going to create a box all the way around the 1920 by 80 box that we just created. And then we're going to go to our pointer tool. Once we go to our pointer tool, we're going to change our stroke style. We're going to increase the width of our webcam border. And the width of the webcam border can be anything you guys prefer. I personally like 10 width to make sure that you can see all the colors and vibrancies that go through the webcam border. So now that we have our box created, what we're going to do now is go into stroke paint and then we're going to change the color of our webcam border. I'm going to make it red so it's easier to see once we go into Hit Film Express. And then what we're going to do now is go back to file, go straight back to document properties. We're going to change the custom size again. We're going to change our width to 3000 and we're going to change our height to 1500. And what that's going to do is basically we're going to want our webcam border to sit in the middle of this image. If it sits on the line, you won't be able to see it in HitFilm Express and then you won't be able to work on it. And then once we're finished with that, we're going to export our image. So we're going to export our image somewhere that's easily attainable. I usually like to hit it onto the desktop. We're going to name it webcam border, save, export, and then now we can work in HitFilm Express. So now that we're in HitFilm Express, what we're going to do is we're going to open up a new project. We're going to click new. We're going to set our video to 1080p full HD at 60 FPS. And we're going to start our project. So this is what the page will look like once we start a project. What we're going to do is that we're going to open our folder. We're going to look for the webcam border that we just created. And we're going to drag the media into the pool over here. And now that we have the media inside our pool, we can drag it onto our video tab right here. And once we've done that, we can set the, we're going to right click the media we just put into our video one. And we're going to make this a composite shot and just click. Okay. So now that we have our webcam border as a composite shot, what we're going to first do is add a new layer. We're going to click into plane. So now that we added a new plane in our composite shot, we're going to pull the drop down menu for our plane. We're going to click the plus sign on effect. We're going to go straight down to gradient and we're going to go to color gradient. Once we're in color gradient, we're going to pull the menu down on color gradient as well. We're going to go straight to blend and we're going to add a normal blend. Once we add a normal blend, we can also change the starting color and the ending color. We're going to change the starting color to red and the ending color to like, I guess a twitch purple, a twitch purple. Now that we have our blend, we're going to go straight down to transform and we're going to set rotations. So once we set rotations, we're going to turn on the toggle dot right here. We're going to keep it at zero. What we're going to do is going to scroll all the way to the end of the video. And then we're going to change this one X zero X. I mean, to a one and that what that will do is that it will rotate our image all the way around. We want to make sure that 
the box. As you can see here, if you do not change the size of the box, it won't reach all the way around the the video. What we wanted to do is that we don't want it to have any black borders. So once we play it again, you can see the rotation of the image. So now that the image is rotating, what we're going to be doing is adding a new effect. We're going to be going to keying. We're going to go into matte enhancement. And then we're going to add a set matte. Once we have a set matte, we're going to pull down the menu right here. We're going to go to source layer and we're going to change it to webcam border PNG. Or whatever your file name is. So now that we've done that, the color gradient blend that we just created is only going to show up on the webcam border that we also created. And once we hit play, we'll see how the webcam border loops around, which is beautiful. So once we finish with our color gradient composite shot, we, I like to go back into editor, go to file, go to project settings, and I'd like to change the duration of the video because it will determine how fast or how slow the color gradient will change on your webcam border. So we're going to set the video to about six minutes. And once we've changed the video time, we're also going to right click on our composite shot that's right here. Go to properties and we're also going to change the duration of the video to six minutes. And then we're just going to grab, we're just going to drag it all the way to the end. And then what we'll have to do, sometimes Hitscan does like to make, add the video another hour. So we're going to just change it back to six minutes. Perfect. And once we've done that, we're going to go back to our composite shot and we're going to drag all our media to the right. So we're going to drag our video to the end. We're going to drag this top bar all the way to the end. We're going to drag the bottom bar all the way to the end. We're going to drag our diamond all the way to the end. And we scroll up to the top and we're going to drag our plane all the way to the end. And once we've done that, you can see that we have now a full media of revolving colored webcam border. So once we finished our entire project, what we're going to do is that we're going to click export on the top right right here. And we're going to export it on our desktop and we can change the name of our file as well. And it will straight export onto your media. And then we'll be done. Once we finish that, we can go straight into OBS. We'll add a new media source. We're going to click looping on, and then we're going to go straight into our file. Then now you have your animated 1920 by 1080 webcam border. So have a great time making your own animated webcam overlays. Remember, we have free made overlays for you guys in the link below in our Discord channel. And if you guys liked the video and if it was helpful, please shoot a like, a comment, and even subscribe. And remember, guys, stream better. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Woo -woo! Oh, yo, this is somebody's flame. <laughs> Get going, <you're> fucking idiots. <laughs> it's mine now, bitch.